evaluates this algebraic expression where a is greater than or equal to 1 over 8. We let t equal this algebraic expression. Then t cubed equals this algebraic expression or cubed x plus y or cubed can be written as x cubed plus 3xy times x plus y plus y cubed. Now we apply this binomial expansion. x cubed plus y cubed equals the first term cubed plus the second term cubed. This term and this term cancel, so we have 2a, 3xy equals 3 times the first term times the second term. x plus y equals the first term plus the second term, which is t. So we write times t. Now we want to estimate the underlined parts of the second term, which is equal to 3 times the cube root of a squared minus a plus 1 over 3 all squared times 8a minus 1 over 3, which is equal to the cube root of 27a squared minus a plus 1 all squared times 8a minus 1, which is equal to the cube root of minus 8a cubed plus 12a squared minus 6a plus 1, which can be written as the cube root of minus 2a plus 1 all cubed minus 2a plus 1 all cubed to the power of a third is just equal to minus 2a plus 1 to the power of 1, which is just minus 2a plus 1. Thus, t cubed equals 2a plus minus 2a plus 1 times t. By rearranging the equation, we can now write t cubed plus 2a minus 1 times t minus 2a equals 0. Now we consider factorizing the equation. Here we have 2a minus 1. Here we have minus 2a. If we add 1 to the left hand side of the equation, we can now write minus 2a minus 1. We can see that the two terms have a common factor, 2a minus 1. We just added 1 to the left hand side of the equation. So we also add minus 1 to the left hand side of the equation. Now we have t cubed minus 1, which allows further factorization. We know that x cubed minus y cubed can be written as x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. By applying this, we can now write t minus 1 times t squared plus t plus 1. We can factorize the next two terms and write plus 2a minus 1 times 
t minus 1. We can see that the two terms have a common factor, t minus 1. So we can now write t minus 1 times t squared plus t plus 2a equals 0. So either t minus 1 equals 0 or t squared plus t plus 2a equals 0. We're given that a is greater than or equal to 1 over 8. When a equals 1 over 8, we have 8 times 1 over 8 minus 1 here. So this part of the term is 0. So this whole term is 0. So we have the cube root of 1 over 8, which is a half. Similarly, we also have a half here. So we have a half plus a half, which is 1. So when a equals 1 over 8, t equals 1. When a is greater than 1 over 8, t squared plus t plus 2a can be written as t plus a half or squared plus 2a minus a quarter. This term is greater than or equal to 0. This term is greater than 0. So the sum of these two terms must be greater than 0. So t squared plus t plus 2a can't equal 0. So t equals 1 is the only solution. Hence, the original algebraic expression is 1.